Hello and welcome to the Amex Stadium. I hope every fan has brought his or her umbrella because it has been raining and it continues to rain. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Brighton up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Pierre Emile Hoybier plays alongside James Madison in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Thank you for attending today's game at the Amex Stadium. Enjoy the match. And they kick off here. Dunk. On to Gross. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. Harry Kane. And return to Son. Oh, great attacking play. And cleared away. Kaoru Mitoma. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, it came to nothing in the end. And room now out on the wing. Feldman. On to Gross. Can he do it to take the lead? And there it is, 1-0. Their efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Goal for Brighton. So back underway, and a wake-up call for Tottenham, perhaps. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. And it's Harry Kane on the run. James Madison. Son. Offside the decision. That's a good ball. Getting in there to intercept. Kane. Now Harry Kane on the move. A oh, good vision there. Taken away from Son. Lalana. Welbeck. Well, racing past his man. What a block! Pedro Porro. 
And now with Kulusevsky. Patience and persistence on the passing front in the name of finding an equaliser. And options in the centre. No let up on the pressing front. And he saw the situation developing. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, it didn't go to plan in the end. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. And Spurs regaining possession. Son. Now Son. In behind for him to chase. And it nestles on the back of the net. A goal for Tottenham Hotspur, who now are on level terms. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Lalana. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. And players waiting in the centre. Feldman. March. On to Gross. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. And that brings to an end the first touch. And now they get the ball rolling. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Kane. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Well, Spurs with the ball again. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45? Madison. Hoybier. Firing it in. Really good diving save. the corner played into the box can they cover up good bit of defending Lalana well there was impending danger but good defending the Spurs have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes or so and they're playing really well and creating chances it's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. 
Son. Well, good run and good ball control. Nicely saved. Substitution for Brighton and Liverpool. And they will make the change now. Number 13, Pascal. And a short corner, let's see. Son. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Adam Webster. Now Lalana. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. A very good tackle. Romero. Now Harry Kane. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Delightful pass. Well, not away properly. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Lalana. March now. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Could be a chance to break here. It is still level, but Spurs on the attack. Can they break the parity? Son. Now just the tackle that was needed. Adam Webster. This could be dangerous. He could pick out a teammate. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. March. Can they forge ahead? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Caicedo. Opportunity for victory, perhaps. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. Coming onto the pitch, number nine, Jean Pedro. Substitution for Tottenham Hotspur. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Harry Kane. Delivering it. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two.